Hill Country. This is John Tipton with the Texas Examiner. I am here with candidate Kyle Biederman, who just finished uh, giving a presentation at the Kendall County Tea Party uh, Candidate Forum. Mr. Biederman, thank you for your time this evening. And if you don't mind, I just have a couple questions for you. Sure. Mr. Biederman, as your, or you served six years as our state representative for House District 21. You took a short break, and based on recent events, you feel like you've been led to, to run again. You actually seem to be either a glutton for punishment or very passionate about serving the constituents of House District 19. Which one is it? Well, I guess it depends on who you ask. If you ask my wife, uh, I'm a glutton for punishment. Um, but then for me, it's a passion. But it's more than that. It is a duty. Uh, when I see what's going on in the country, I see what's going on in Texas, we need courageous people to be in office. And there's a big change going to be happening in the State House. And there'll be a big turnover. Time to clean the Texas House, and I want to be part of it. Well, that's a great segue into my next uh, question. And as we're both aware, politics is extremely demanding, and it can become very contentious uh, during a campaign, especially in one like yours. Uh, your opponent is the focus of a recent article in the Texas Voice, published on or about the 5th of February, where the author makes claims that the Texas Family Project is responsible for sending out campaign mailers that specific, specifically address Sharia law in Texas and the several resolutions that were passed. Now, if you continue reading towards the bottom, you'll notice that there are several paragraphs dedicated to your opponent in which she says things, and I quote, such, a, or, such as, and I quote, my opponent simply has nothing to run on or show for his many years in office. She also says he's decided that he is willing to lie to get elected. She says that that plan will backfire and that you, uh, that you will lie and cheat in desperation to achieve your office. How do you <laughs> respond to that? Wow. Well, first of all, uh, I'd like to know how I lied. Um, I know there was a mailer that came out about a, a, a resolution that was voted on by the Texas House, and uh, it was all about, um, you know, celebrating Muslim holidays. And then it was also about having a Muslim day at the Capitol and uh, just some other things. Now, it's not law, but it was just kind of a feel-good, um, I believe, a politically correct bill because right now uh, the uh, Muslim... Uh, terrorists and um, extremists are at war with us. They're killing Americans. They want to destroy America. And we want to give them holidays. We want to give them anything else here in the United States. Uh, I think it's very dangerous. Now, I would not have put that mailer out, but I certainly would not have uh, uh, voted for that bill. In fact, when I was in the legislature two sessions ago, a similar bill came out, and I went to the author and told him, uh, that is not a good bill to be bringing out to the House floor. We gotta change it because right now we're under, um, um, you know, we're under, uh, we're under fire from, you know, radical Islam. And we have Sharia law in Texas. That's why eight years, six years ago, my first session, we passed American laws for American courts because Sharia law is alive in Texas. And so the legislature had to pass that bill, had to pass that into law. So for anybody to say we don't have Sharia law in Texas, uh, they need to uh, do a little more research. So then you're, you're saying that uh, the statements made by your opponent are, are false with regards to saying that you would like to do anything to get into office and so forth and so on. <laughs> well, I would say so. I'd like to know how I lied. You know, I just don't understand. Um, but that's fine. That's what happens in politics. My first time I ran, um, you know, they went after my children. You know, it was a very, very sad, and I had to put out mailers to stop that. Um, well, uh, Al, my opponent right now is spreading those rumors again that were already dismissed uh, my first election. So, um, you know, that's just what happens in campaigning. Um, I don't do any lying, and if I did, I'd like to know what it is, and I'll be happy to um, either respond or condemn it. Um, but, um, you know, talk is cheap. That's all I could say. And this is an election. It's unfortunate. It has to get ugly. Well, thank you, Mr. Biederman, for your time. We very much appreciate We know you've got a busy schedule. We wish you the best of luck on your continued campaign, and we hope to visit again with you in the future very soon. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate all that you do to, to inform the uh, public. Thanks.
All right, folks. Uh, good evening. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this brief uh, explanation and uh, redress of some of the things that were in that article. We want to give both sides an opportunity to address your concerns and those brought up by other entities and other individuals, So, which is why we are here this evening visiting with Mr. Biedemann. Thank you all. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.